Hey, what's up, Starling? So I got a package today, and I kind of technically already took it out of its first layer of packaging, but I got a wig from Uni Wigs. I'm gonna call them that. Sounds quite European, Uni Wigs. And I love this little bag that it came in. And we are going to try it on today because I, clips. I'm feeling quite 90s today because this wig, it's brown with like a caramel highlight. So I was like, hmm, let's do like a late 90s glam style look, shall we? And this is what it looks like. It reminds me of ice cream. I think a lot of my wigs remind me of ice cream for some reason. I take this out. Whoa, hello. How are you? Oh, get off me. Get off me. Get off, get off me. Got it. <laughs> Don't mind the lopsided hair. We're going to have a bald cap on. In a little bit and this shirt keeps riding up really cute too so i'm upset that it's riding up but this is the wig i don't believe she had like a, a name name so comment down a name below oh she looks really pretty i shush i'm trying to film so i thought this would go great with this look except this shirt keeps riding up when i wheel gosh darn it uh -huh. and one thing i like is that she has invisible lace aka lace see-through enough to where it will probably blend a lot better than some of my wigs that I own. So that's a good plus. And beforehand, I'm going to loosen the straps on the inside because I already have a feeling it's gonna be a little small because I have a big head. And if you're scared by my bare face, don't worry, I will put makeup on, don't worry. I also have to cut off this tag and I don't believe she has a name. I don't believe she has a name. So I, for some reason, I was talking to uh, Ruth about this. For some reason, she gives me the name Arlen vibe. I have a great niece named Arlen. Her hair looks nothing like this, but she looks like an Arlen. So comment down yes for Arlen, or if you have a better name that goes with this wig. And when I have it on, comment that down below. And the most votes shall be her name. All right. I slicked back my hair with some gel and freezing spray. And then we got this. They came with wig caps, which I really appreciate. I'm just gonna, uh... Now, if you think I look stupid in the beginning of this video, I challenge you to this. Now, a rule of thumb is you gotta make sure your satellite dishes are flat as your hair against your scalp. And this is why I wasn't wearing makeup in the beginning, because we have to do... Oh, come on. Good. I had asked for advice from people who wear wigs more than I do and better than I do. What was I doing wrong when it came to laying down lace? Not lace, the wig cap. And they said I didn't go hard enough with this got to be freezing spray. Basically just extra strong hairspray that works miracles if you know what you're doing. The problem with me is I don't know what I'm doing. So we're just gonna pray for the best. And I think one of my main problems was I never sprayed enough on the sides. And that's where I'd go wrong. Don't worry, I'll... <laughs> oh, I, I can see the memes now. You know what, this is a sexy look. I might leave it like this and go to the store and get what I need today. And this shirt is riding up again. Watch them be like, Lita, we said go harder. We didn't mean this much. Maybe it's just enough. Now this is by far the scariest part about doing this. Oh, I should have cut a hole before. I'm trying to grab the stupid thing, but I'm just grabbing flesh. Come on. I just want. There we go. Got it. 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 I gotta cut it. Cut. 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 I can see. And the last time I did this, um, little fun story for you. I cut my ear and it bled. So we're gonna be. We're just gonna do a little. We're just gonna do this. Right in the ear canal, you know, because that's a safe idea. I'm gonna kind of stretch the hole for my big ear and do this. Just kind of, you know, loop it around a bit and then we're gonna. Ooh, that hurt. Ta da! I think this is quite a look. Oh, I can't see out of this eye. Oh no, I'm just gonna have to stab it. This is why I need someone to do wigs for me because I'm gonna end up cutting off my ear. I got the hole. Great. <laughs> This is where I cut my ear last time, in this exact ear. And it really hurt. <sighs> Since I always have the most trouble here. I gotta wait 30 years for this to dry. Boo. All right, 
it's as dry, I think, as it's gonna get. So, before I cut it, I think what I'm gonna do is take this cream-based foundation, just a little bit, don't need a lot, as I add more, and cover up at least parts of the hair. And I did already kind of mess it up because I don't know how to do tight braids like against my scalp. So I wasn't able to lay down all of my hair. And as you can see, some of the baby hairs did manage to escape. But that's okay because the wig is majority dark. Um, so I can just say that they were part of the baby hairs. And we're just going to try and add a little bit of color to hide the dark. And then I'll cut it. Yes. And if I look like I'm uncomfortable, it's because I am. This might have been too dark of a choice. It's fine, I'll just powder it with something lighter. Okay, so I think I learned my lesson from my last few bouts doing this. So I have my spirit gum here, and I know a lot of wig wearers use um, ghost something, ghost, ghost bond or something. It's a really, really strong glue, but they are also wearing wigs days at a time where I'm not skilled enough to do that. So I use spirit gum, but if you don't like spirit gum or you're allergic to something that's in it, uh, Prosade is also really good. I just don't have any right now. I have a huge bottle of spirit gum and it must be used. Now when I said I learned my lesson is I would cut the lace first and then pieces would be flying everywhere and you know yada 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 and causing me all this sort of heartache. I'm first just gonna glue it down with the first layer, especially around the ears because the wig cap will just come up all the time and it is what ruins the looks because you can see my actual hair then. And it's like, why? It also kind of helps melt the wig cap, in my opinion. That or it's just a little me being hopeful that it is. <laughs> um, so the first layer is just so everything sticks for when I do cut it. I'm just doing this right along my hairline, which is probably a bad idea. I want to keep my baby hairs. That's fine, I have remover for that. And, oh, don't do that. <laughs> I also can't see out of this side of my face, so we're just kind of hope for the best of what I'm doing. And then I'm getting it. So, yeah. Let this dry, then I'm going to cut it and put the second layer to help blend the edges of what you cut into the skin. And then we can actually get to the fun part, which is putting on said wig that still has no name. I'm really leaning towards Arlen though, guys. I'm really leaning towards it. And you're like, we don't care. <laughs> okay, finally. It is dry enough for me that we're going to cut this and do the second layer. Yes, to blend. I know what I'm doing. But where to begin cutting, though? That's not going to hurt me. Uh, probably here. Meh. Free me. Ta-da! Hopefully that's dry enough. Oh, that's still sticky. I might have overestimated myself. Oh well. YOLO. Who even says YOLO anymore? because I'm never up to date with the time. Okay, so we got the wig on and the lace is looking nice and thin, but I have to pull back these hairs with a clip before I glue it down and cut everything. So it's kind of look, gonna look like a headband for a hot second. And the stuff wasn't even technically all the way dry yet. Whoops, I'm so impatient. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> I can feel it being tacky. Oh, at least it's gonna hold that part down for me. Okay, we're gonna take all this hair, pull it back a bit, a little bit. All right, I know I look weird, but it's just to try and keep the wig down as the final layer of spirit gum dries. I can't be super expressive, lest it go pop off, but I will see you guys when that is done and then we can get to the makeup and then final Thoughts? All right, don't mind the crappy makeup and the crappy blend job. This is about the wig and what we think of it. I really like it. I do. I had been wanting to do all my real hair, this exact look, but white and then black. So this is the closest I think I'm gonna get and I really like it. What I don't like is this top keeps riding up. But yes, this is the wig from Uniwigs. I can't move much because everything is glued and secured. 
I don't want to go out now because in person you can see everything so I might redo this the normal way that I do it with like a regular wig cap and not the one you have to cut and glue and all that stuff and yeah I really like it it's a lot of fun if you guys want to check out uni wigs and see what kind of wigs that they have you can go down in the description box below I will have a link why is this looking there we go ah. <laughs> but I also have a bunch of codes and other shops for you guys to check out as well in the comment section down below along with my social media so we can chat there as well comment down below a name for said wig again I'm still kind of stuck on Arlen but if you guys have a better one please comment it down below and the winner I will pick with all the votes yeah like this video if you enjoyed me acting stupid and putting on a very pretty synthetic wig and with all that being said I will see you all later Oh